Not being able to record the internal system sound on your Mac is a real pain. It makes creating things like screencasts, let's plays and reaction videos challenging without using extra software. Now, thankfully, there is free software available to help you record the internal audio on your Mac. My favorite right now is an open source audio plugin called Black Hole. It's a great little app that allows you to capture the system sound from your Mac and send it to other applications like QuickTime Player or OBS for recording or live streaming. I did a tutorial on how to use Black Hole. I'll leave a link to that video in the description below. Black Hole is a great little app, but setting it up and using it can be a bit complicated, which is why I wanna show you another way to record the internal system sound on your Mac for making things like screen recordings. The Rode NT-USB Mini. Full disclosure, Rode is not a sponsor of this video and they did not send me this Rode NT-USB Mini. I purchased it myself. The NT-USB Mini is a great little USB condenser microphone for recording voiceovers, podcasting and live streaming. It's what I'm recording this video on right now. It has great sound quality for the price, which is just under $100 US at the time of this recording. So how exactly does this little microphone record the Mac's internal system sound? Well, it's not really the microphone that does the recording. It's what you get for free with the microphone. And that's Rode Connect, companion software for the Rode NT-USB Mini. It's completely free. You can also use Rode Connect with the VideoMic NTG, VideoMic Go 2, Wireless Go 2, and AI Micro, in case you have any of those microphones. You simply download Rode Connect from Rode's website. Again, it's completely free and is available for both Mac and Windows. Though Windows doesn't have this internal audio problem. Lucky. I'll link to the Rode Connect download page in the description below. To use Rode Connect to record the sound coming from your Mac, you first need to download and install Rode Connect on your machine. Then connect the NT-USB Mini to your Mac using a USB cable. It's a good idea to plug your headphones into the back of the NT-USB Mini so you can hear yourself on the microphone together with the sound coming from your Mac. Launch Rode Connect. If you're running it for the first time, you'll be prompted to update your NT-USB Mini's firmware. Once the update is finished, Drag the NT-USB Mini into an available microphone channel in the Rode Connect interface. Next, activate the system and virtual channels. The system channel is what we need to record the internal sound from the Mac. Next, adjust the gain of the Rode NT-USB Mini to get a good recording level into Rode Connect. To do that, talk into the mic at the level you'll be recording at, leaving the fader at this thick tick mark known as Unity Gain. Select the mic button. Then hit the plus and minus buttons down here until your voice is sitting within this green area of the meter. With the NT-USB Mini set up, you can now set up for your screen recording. First step, I'm gonna go up to the top menu on my Mac and select the sound output button. And from the drop-down menu for my sound output, I'll select Rode Connect System. Very important to get this right. This sends my Mac's system sound to the Rode Connect software. So next, I'm going to preview the computer sound I want to record to check its sound level. So in this case, I'm going to record one of my YouTube videos. So I'll play it. And you can see on the Rode Connect interface, the system meter bouncing up and down, which means the Rode Connect is capturing the computer sound from my Mac, which right now is the sound from this YouTube video. And I can also hear the computer sound in my headphones. I can adjust the level of the computer sound using the system fader in Rode Connect, which is very convenient. So to create my screen recording, I'll arrange my screen the way that I want to. Then I'm going to press Shift Command 5 to launch the Mac's screen recording app, Screenshot. Then down in Options, under Microphone, I select Rode Connect Stream. Again, very important to select the correct input to make this work. Rode Connect Stream sends the output of Rode Connect, which is our microphone and computer sound mixed together to Screenshot. So when I'm ready, I hit record to start the screen recording and away I go. When I'm finished recording, I'll find my screen recording and open it up in Quick Look. I'll go back up to the sound output menu 
and set it back to my regular output. Professional you can hear my video software. sound there. That's the sound of the YouTube video. Project, like for a television station. And this you can hear my microphone sound. I'm talking into the Rode NT-USB Mini. Detail. So we're getting... The and there's my screen recording with the audio from my microphone and the computer sound, which for this demo was a YouTube video. And if I want to, I can trim off the unwanted bits of my screen recording by selecting the trim button up here on the Quick Look interface, then adjusting the trim handles, and then hitting Done. A quick way to make simple edits to your videos without having to create a whole project in iMovie or another video editing application. If you want to find out more ways to make simple edits to your videos on your Mac, check out this video on my channel.